Hello, welcome back again to my wonderful community. In today's video, we are going to be looking at what another level of scratches. Make you don't know not man. Going with oh, the crossfader. Most DJs are conversant with playing around with their crossfader when it comes to scratches, but see what I'm going to do now. Uh, you know. Uh, that's how it, that's how it. When you look at my videos, most of the time you hardly see me touch the crossfader. Uh, yes, there is a reason why. Hold on, hold on. You get to see why I don't touch the crossfader because continue when it comes to the aspect of keyboard, you have to be mindful with how you tamper with the crossfader. Ah. That is why most of the time I don't touch the crossfader. There are a lot of other things that control things that I should have been doing with the crossfader. You get it? Which are automatically embedded inside the mapping. If you don't get it, forget about it. That is why for those who try to do all those trial and error, you see that you cannot do what I'm doing here. That is why even what I'm doing here has gone beyond the level of even things you can do on your controller. Don't miss, man. He's good. I'm going to prove to you now. Just watch. Fountain! Fountain! This is a crossfader. I'm, I'm going to be tempering with the crossfader. Just watch what will happen now. See, it's at 50%. So you can see what just happened now. Is it possible to do this on a crossfader? Go and ask your grandfather. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, let's get to see. First, I'm going to show you the settings now. Before you're able to do this, after having your mapping ready and then using the uh, caps lock button, all you have to do is go to your settings. In my own case, I'm going to be using the shift escalate button to open this. Then I'll go to my user interface option here come here then at this very point i'm going to remove the right up there and i'll type starter so at this very particular point you need to have your settings on this crossfader starter turn it on and crossfader stop turn it on so make sure these things are on if you don't want to temper with this you can turn it off but you have to be very careful if you are going to be using it on the controller because when you make any mistake you will end up in my daughter that's what i meant and i really meant what i'm saying you might just be mixing and you go off point yes, So you got to be careful. That is why in my own case, I don't temper with some of these things anyhow because they are so powerful. They can give you a lot of vibes than you least expected. So I believe you got to understand this. So I'm going to be doing it. You see, this same thing I'm doing with the crossfader here. I'm going to use it with this letter N again. Just watch. Okay, watch. You have seen it with letter N. I'm going to switch over now to the crossfader. So you can see how I was able to do everything using the mouse. So in this case, even when it comes to the aspect of the scratches, there are a host of other things you can do. I actually started from the simple X mode to now a much more complex mode. So we're actually moving. If you are lost, sorry, you gotta move faster, man, because we're actually on a high speed. So we're actually moving so fast that if you are just coming, you need to double up. Uh -huh. 